here. It's so late. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Did you take a look at these, the fan mail reports off Iris's desk? Yeah. Volume's up. Mm -hmm. Still wondering uh, what happened to Erica. But they're really happy with their replacement. The wolfish Tad Martin. Has he? Numbers are up. Uh, look at this. Uh, the Crowded Bedroom, the show that we did on infidelity. You know, it aired months ago. We used to get letters. Maybe we should do a follow-up. Seems to be a topic that never gets old. Nice try. Both of us pretending that everything's normal. But everything that happened with that kiss... What are we gonna do about it? Say something. Um, anything. Am, am I alone on this? Uh, do you feel the same way? Of course I feel it. I feel like everything is off kilter. Yeah, off, off balance. I mean, I understand where my share of the, of the tension is, but, but, but I need something. I, we need to do something about it. What, you want an easy fix? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you've got one, I'd, I'd love an easy fix. I'm sorry, I'm all fresh out. No easy fixes here. Life is seldom that simple, unfortunately. Well, you've got to be wrong, because I like working with you. I think that we're a great team. And we've got to do something about, you know, getting of the tension. You, um... Have a suggestion? Mm -hmm. You could be mean to me instead of as nice as you were about Christmas. You were wonderful. Thanks. You've already thanked me. But generally, I'm a nice guy. I don't walk around with a chip on my shoulder anymore, and I, I don't hold grudges. I try not to steal or cheat or lie, and most of the time I'm pretty successful. I think you know that about me, but maybe what you don't know about me is more important. So, Jess? I realize that I'm not the center of the universe, and considering the number of times my father told me that, it's about time. What is important to me is my marriage to Dixie, our, our, our life together, the life we've created for our children. It sounds really lovely. It's not. With a bunch of secrets, it... feeling guilty. Well, I'm sorry if you feel guilty. If you're implying that I like things that are secretive, you're wrong. Well, okay, then why don't we just admit together that we made a mistake and try to work together as two professionals. Well, that's a plan that might fly. So, we're agreed. Yeah. Okay. You leaving? Good night, boss. <laughs> the uh, fan mail reports go? Volume's up. Looks like the cutting edge with Tad Martin is a hit. Congratulations. That's so terrific. Um, I was just finishing my psychology paper, but now that you're home, what do you say we go to bed? No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't start. Look, I got <laughs> these VTR air schedules. I got to get out for next month. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm serious. I can't go to work without him tomorrow. No, you have deadlines. I'm sorry. I promise I'll make it up to you, okay? <sighs> Just really wish that we got to spend some more time together, that's all. Well, things are going to get better soon. I really miss you. I miss you, too. Especially since it looks like I'm going to be up with you until the wee hours. Guess the honeymoon is over. Come 
on now. Don't say that. Here, wait a second. Listen. You are everything that matters to me and everything that I count on. You're stuck with me for good. I love you, Dad. I love you too, honey. Dear Dixie, I'm sorry I had the bad judgment last night to make a pass at you. I was self-centered self-destructive and drunk I hope you can forgive me for kissing you tonight I, I went to an AA meeting I heard some things that hit home Dixie bad judgment doesn't make me a bad person you were right about everything please don't hate me or stop being my friend never write to a woman when you're trashed Jason, mind telling me what you're doing here in the middle of the night? Well, I, I, I thought your office was empty. Obviously. Well, I, I had some free time, so I, uh, <clears throat> I, I collated the FTC report for you because you said it shouldn't leave your office. That's dedication, thank you. Well, I, I knew you needed it uh, first thing. <clears throat> you're going to make yourself indispensable around here. Listen, go home. Get a good night's sleep. And thank your lucky stars you don't have to wait for a call from the coast. Okay. Good night, Miss Colby. Good night, Jason. Dear Dixie. Oh, really? FTC reports. Good work. Thanks. Uh, have a seat. But first, could you close the door? Okay. Uh, what's up? Hopefully, uh, not what we were talking about last night. I kind of thought we put that to bed, so to speak. Well, no, not exactly. It's just that I found something kind of interesting last night. And I was wondering if anything, if I should really do anything about it. And I remember what you said about, about secrets and feeling guilty. We're not going to beat this to death, are we? I mean, what's your point? Well, if there are problems with you and Dixie, maybe you shouldn't take all the blame. Maybe Dixie has some secrets of her own. Liza, number one, there's no problems between me and Dixie that couldn't be solved by a little time alone together. Number two, my wife doesn't keep secrets from me. And number three, the next time you feel so compelled... I found this in my trash can. When Jason was here last night, it's a letter from him to your wife. I knew that Jason had a crush on Dixie, but just a crush innocent enough, I didn't realized that I had gone so far. Well, I, uh, I hate to burst your bubble, Eliza, but this is old news. You knew? Oh, yeah. yeah it's like one kiss. It's an incomplete past. Dixie told me all about it after it happened. I see. No, I don't think you do. Luckily, you don't have to. I didn't realize that you and Dixie had such an open marriage. Which reminds me, this is the day I'm supposed to go home for an early lunch with my beautiful wife. Dad, I hope I did the right thing by showing you the letter. Don't you always. I try. I'll see you around. Hi. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised to see you back here so early. Yeah, well, it's been a day for surprises. I had one this morning myself. Really? Yeah, you accused me of being, uh... Not 100% honest in my business arrangements, right? Well, what about you, Dixie? Why didn't you tell me Jason Sheffield made a pass at you? 